Hey Cultivator, welcome back to my channel. At the time of recording, which is April 8th, 2020, I have been told by a lot of my clients and job seekers alike that there are so many applicants to every single job posting that they see online and they're wondering what it is they can do to stand out in this process. So today in this video, I wanna share three strategies that I'm having my clients implement right now so that they can make sure as they progress through this job search, no matter what the economy looks like, they are positioning themselves as a top candidate that employers need to speak with. And it is working. I have so many clients right now who are going through interviews and offers. So stick around through this video as I share with you the three strategies getting them results right now. All right, strategy number one is to optimize the LinkedIn profile. If you guys have been following me for some time, you know that I always emphasize the fact that your LinkedIn is more important than your resume. And I really strongly believe this to be true because again, LinkedIn allows you to be searched and found. Um, I have a client right now who just updated her LinkedIn profile following the specific strategies and tips that I've outlined. By the way, I have a free video here if you wanna take a look at some of the few tips that I share in there, but she basically rehauled everything from top to bottom and she said that this week she got two messages from hiring managers basically asking her to interview so if your linkedin profile isn't optimized you can't get those types of in-mail messages because you're not being found during those search results for those specific skill sets so just phenomenal the fact that she's getting these interviews but two um the reason why this is really important to optimize your linkedin profile is because it's really your personal brand and what people see throughout the interview as they get to know you or they pull you out of the stack of resumes, naturally that interviewer, whether it's a recruiter, an HR person, or a hiring manager is going to get curious and Google your name and LinkedIn is going to be one of the top search results because their SEO juice, their search engine optimization is so strong. And so what they're going to do is click on your LinkedIn profile and you wanna make sure that really represents who you are as an employee, what it is you can do, how how you do it and really showcases your personality to go with that as well. All right, so now that you have a LinkedIn profile that is optimized, one area of opportunity that I see so many job seekers leave off the table is actually creating their original LinkedIn article or LinkedIn content. The reason why this is important is because, again, going with the algorithms, LinkedIn really rewards people who have complete profiles. And one of the profile sections is creating articles. So if you're not writing articles, it's telling LinkedIn that maybe you're not as um, involved or as active as say somebody else who is. And so that person who's writing articles is going to be ranking higher in those search results. The other nice thing about LinkedIn articles is that they sit on your LinkedIn profile. So if I'm a hiring manager, I'm a recruiter who lands on your profile, I can see what you've written and it really demonstrates at that point that this is something whatever you're writing about is a topic that you have expertise in, that you're credible with, or that you're really passionate about. So I always tell people, you don't have to be an expert to write an article. Anybody can write an article. For example, I was sharing with a client, even if you're moving into an entry level position, you could still write an article about how you came about learning about that particular topic. So for instance, if you're moving into say, um, marketing for the first time, you don't have any formal tangible marketing experience, but perhaps you've been to a marketing event or marketing conference, you could share an article about the top three things I learned at this marketing event, right? So the whole point is that you're showcasing that this is something that you're really passionate about because again, it's not enough to just tell an interviewer I'm really passionate about marketing when you have nothing to really show for on the rest of your profile and other candidates are writing those articles where they're really demonstrating what they know about that field. So just again, remember, you don't need to be an expert. You just need to share your perspective, your angle, your experience that you're building upon. All right, so strategy, all right, strategy number three, which is so important as we meld this all together, because one, we have an optimized LinkedIn profile. Two, we have started to build Build your credibility, establish your authority, and build your thought leadership. So the third thing that we need to do is reach out directly to hiring managers. Um, everybody who follows me knows that I have 
a golden solution message that basically allows you to send a message to a hiring manager without feeling awkward or sleazy or like a burden because you're actually offering a solution to the problem. The reason why I say this is more important than ever is because with these jobs getting thousands of applications right now as unemployment rates spike, we need to make sure that we are being visible and seen. And trust me when I say there's not very many candidates who are reaching out directly to hiring managers. And so this is a really great way to set yourself apart as somebody who's proactive. But two, people who do send messages to hiring managers, they're typically not doing it in a really effective way. We're asking, hey, do you have a job? That's what we want to avoid. So with the solution message to hiring managers, it's really important that you build that relationship, build that rapport. You really build that strategic framework of understanding what their potential needs are, the fact that you've done research, you know what this company is about, and then you know how to concisely state who it is that you are and what it is that you can do in a paragraph at max so that you can capture their attention. And the whole point behind this message is just for them to think about, hmm, who sent me this message? I'm so curious. Let me take a look at their LinkedIn profile. And again, boom, your LinkedIn profile is so optimized. You have your thought leadership expertise. You've written a article that really demonstrates that you're an A candidate and they're naturally going to get curious and call you in for an interview. So that's kind of my three-step framework that I'm having my clients go through right now, and it is working so well in terms of generating interviews, getting connections and relationships built, which is the perfect time to do it right now. Um, as everybody is working from home, um, companies are actually slowing down a little bit, which is nice because that means hiring managers have more headspace to have these conversations. People are more willing to have informational interviews and so forth. So I highly recommend this three-step framework. Now, if you're watching this in the month of April, I wanna go ahead and share in the description box down below, be sure to sign up for my free training series. It's going to be 10 days of live trainings, and I'm gonna be talking about all of these concepts on a much deeper level. So be sure you sign up, it's free. Invite your friends, your colleagues, anybody who's been really affected by COVID-19 and you know needs some job search support, I'm basically going to guide you through all of my best tips and tools and hacks over the next 10 days, starting on April 20th. So I hope you can join us. And if you're catching this beyond May 2020, you missed this particular round, but that's okay. There's so many ways to get extra job search support. Feel free to check out my website, coltavitae.com, which is also linked down below, and you can see all of the resources and previous um, blog articles and free resource library to check out. Until then, I hope that you continue to cultivate your life and career, and I wish you a really great day. Thank you.